just two, two contests in the um, plus 78 kilo category, and then we're going to have a, a return to the top half of the draw and see the under 90. So let's start with Emily Andiol of France and uh, Carola Erlenhurd of the Netherlands. That's the uh, pair on the map now. Just eight fighters in here. It's um, as good as a straight um, knockout, if you like. Whomsoever loses here goes into the repechage. And then um, they'll have one fight to put themselves in the position for a bronze medal. Andy all going over on the right side and then attacking right away. Erlen Hood looks um, in better condition than she has for a long time. I know she's lost um, quite a lot of weight. Good, good for her. She's definitely um, looking healthier. I hope she's also feeling good and maybe uh, that'll be reflected in the judo. She's unfortunately drawn against the, uh, the number one seed in the opening contest. But... Um, She's still got a way back, should she lose here. Aggressive um, start from Andiol. Andiol is insisting on that uh, grip on one side. As long as she continues to attack, then um, she won't get penalised for it. Once the arm goes over, you need to attack right away. That's fairly simple. I know that um, it bores the hell out of a lot of you when I continue to go on about the rules, but um, it, it's just to reinforce the, uh, the understanding. I hope you don't mind, but not everyone catches it right away so Andiol when she um, takes that right arm and goes over needs to attack right away and that's what she's been doing if she doesn't then she'll um, be penalized no score yet there's the grip and there's the attack that's the, uh, the way to do it Erlen Hood has uh, blocked the uh, attempt on this occasion and almost come up with a counter. Now, it's um, almost half the contest gone, but she's now beginning to feel her way into dealing with that grip. And the difficult thing for Andiol is um, if she persists in that, Erlenhood is going to be waiting for her. So um, could be a change of tactic needed here from the French girl because uh, Erlenhood managed to block the attack and even come up with... Uh, an attempted counter. So Andy Hall's going to have to be careful here. Went to go on um, the same side. Koji Gaki attempted, Ko sorry, Kosoto Gaki attempted from uh, Erlenhood, but uh, she was a little bit far away. And uh, not the kind of speed that would uh, catch Andy Hall. You don't expect a great deal of speed from uh, the heavyweights, but. Uh, you needed some, or well you need some, if you're going to come up with a scoring technique. On that occasion, Andiol, um, well, Erlenhood was getting ahead back underneath. One way of dealing with it. They're off the mat again. Terry Clover is the uh, referee. Andiol is the one who picks up the um, penalty for stepping out of the area. Here comes Erlenhood again. Needs to keep the head up. She looks a lot better when she's um, standing up taller. 
hard when you've got someone of Andy Ol's strength with their arm wrapped round your your head. Uchimata and then Ojigari from Andy Ol. Erlen Hood needs to put in some attacks here. Oops. A little bit uh, slow in coming up with an attack. Matthew Klempner has just won his contest down on map number four. He just defeated Drazen Zubacic of Bosnia. That's in the plus 100 kilo category. Minute 16 left to go here. Erlen Hurd on the edge because she's already picked up three penalties. Can't afford another one. And, uh, oh, that was better. But countered and now in Osai Komi. That was a better attack, but um, not strong enough to really threaten Andy Ol. She managed to counter it. Rosari on the board, or Saikomi as well, and only 15 seconds needed to secure this win now. Rosari Awazeti upon it's uh, Andy Ol, the number one seed, who goes into the uh, semi final. Only eight fighters, as I said uh, early on, so. Effectively, the first round is the quarter-final. Oh, 